YouTubers, welcome back to another video at GDB Rescue and Recovery. I hope you all enjoyed that last video. It seems to have gone down a treat looking at the comments, so thank you all very much for your kind comments. It is very much appreciated. So I'm just going out now in my Nissan Navara 4x4 to do an assessment. Um, obviously we do use a company in Stafford for my HGV winch outs and recovery and I've also got a good contractor that I use in Stoke-on-Trent as well. So I'm going out there first just to assess it. I have had see, I've seen some photos, but photos, they don't tell you everything that you need to know and see. So there's a lot of different factors with this one. Where the vehicle's positioned, the back wheels have just started to start sinking because they're spinning, and the front end of the vehicle is obviously on the grass. Yeah, back wheels are on like, um, like loose gravel, for example, started obviously sinking front end is on the customer's grass um, where he's obviously done his tip you'll see on the photos and video in a minute um, and then he's basically the front of his vehicle vehicle is literally like less than half a meter from a tree um, in regard to doing sideways winching there's some trees that were there but they've been chopped so they're like about three foot out and I don't think they're very thick so it's a bit of a bit of a tricky one with how to deal with it safely and you can't get a heavy past him to just winch him backwards like you normally would due to the access so I have obviously thought in my head if he's got a little bit of traction if we do a bit of digging a bit of spading get both four befores up there if we've got enough room to try and give a bit of a pull but it's loose gravel so it ain't pretty looking at the pictures so I've got to go out there first I've gave him an estimate what a heavy would, would cost um, and he's fine but we've got to make sure we can the job will always be done but the tree in question that's stopping this vehicle and operation from happening easily is the tree and i think it's an apple tree as you know if you've grown an apple tree and it's got obviously you know the goods on there owner aren't going to want that chopping just to get a heavy out so we've got to try and do this with leaving the apple tree safe without any disruption to the apple tree so next part of the click we will be on scene i'll give you a little walk around of the situation i'll just be talking to the customer and obviously certain methods how we could potentially get this vehicle out if you do like what you see in the channel make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching gdb over and out right we'll soon be arriving on scene that's probably my man here there he is spot on all right let's go and have a little assessment of this one Ooh. Afternoon, oh yeah, it was quick. <laughs> mm. Ooh, dear. You have photos, are you, mate? Are you? That's obviously what you don't see on photos is little bits like that as well. Oh my lord, right. So that's concreted in, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Come to open that door again, yeah. You want the key out there, the handbrake on them? That what do you want? Oh, right, nothing just yet, nothing just yet. I'm just here just to assess it for now before we see what vehicle we're sending out. Um. Uh, well, if you leave the key in, but just keep the window down, if you mean to, so for you to climb out, you mean. And the handbrake off. Um, well, it gonna go well, it's not going to go anywhere at the minute, like. But uh, I'm not doing anything with the vehicle right now. I've just seen what process we're going to do to get this back out. So that's all. Hmm. Ah, uh, these are rotten and all, aren't they? Them because they've been cut for so long. Yeah, they aren't strong, right? There's nothing remotely there. Hmm. Yeah, a bit of a tricky one. Let's put that 
tree there. That was there. Um, and do you know how long these have been chopped for? Because I'm assuming they're not going to be very strong to take the weight of... What, this? Yeah. It's quite strong, but... Well, no, I'll well, pass on that one. I no, that. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> I don't know whether you used to be roots as far as some of this, some big stumps over it. Uh, you could jack from there. Yeah, well, I looked at that one. That would be half yeah, decent, that one. That one's there, but there's one beyond that, which is which we brought the tree down. Yeah, even these are... At the back of them, back of that. I want it the back. Big stumps. Nothing for that one. Getting a digger up that. Well, I'm just going to ask you just to, for process of elimination, is if we were to get a Unimog vehicle, we can use some railway sleepers to try and build this up, you know, on both sides. Yeah, I know and if it's full of weeds, but I mean, no, it's no. been neglected because of this. No, no, no. No, I understand. Been, yeah, been. it's just a situation of this truck. It's it's quite an in detail job to get it out without causing disruption. Mainly, you know, your apple tree is yeah, very I important know, to keep, yeah. I understand, in the post. But uh, what I'm potentially thinking, if we were to get a Unimog vehicle, which would squeeze, yeah. it would squeeze just about in between these gaps. Yeah. And if we were, so can kind of get it a little bit up there, there but. So many years it yeah, I understand. Like yeah, I understand. You'll get the heavy in. Um, I'm going to say you'd have to probably go past and turn around and then get the angle. Let me just show you this one as well. <coughs> so this well, angle... Uh, obviously, if you go back to, obviously, us, obviously... Yeah. Oh, I'm just losing you a bit on your signal, I think, Kevin. Kev, can you hear me? Hello? Are you? Can you hear me now? Ah, go on. Yeah, I can hear you now. What were you saying, sorry? How far out of Nosel is it? Oh, literally, just as you come out of Nosel, it's that first turning on the right before you go down the hill to Swan Pit. Right, I mean, it, the easiest thing for me to do is obviously, if you go back to the main road, and just I'll meet you there. Out the hall, and yeah. then obviously. Uh, I can meet you at the roadside and we can follow it. Yeah, that tree would definitely do a little bit of justice if it wasn't there, but we can try and turn the wheels left and then pulling it kind of backwards and out. Um, but yeah, let me just get, if I can get those in at an angle. I don't think... If we had a bit more hard standing, I'd be up for it. So if we had some proper tarmac or ground, but there's... Yeah. Um, but again, it's if I get obviously the rope on all the 4x4, we, we're only restricted to how far I can come up here whilst that's coming backwards. Um, and obviously as soon as that started coming backwards, I'm kind of stuck unless I can then get myself out. So that's the other problem. As soon as I'm committed on this side, that's it and if the diff lock isn't working with all them rear wheels it's it's just on that brink of it will or won't yeah. but the safest option like the customer well, the customer who owns the house it's those couple of trees there we've got the vehicle coming out as a heavy so it'll go down the road if there's somewhere to turn around come back up reverse in and we've got twin winch line so we can be on potentially two trees at once whilst your driver's in and reversing it I can't see a reason why that won't really pull out as long as the trees have got just that enough oomph. As long as the trees have got just that enough oomph whilst that's reversing and the winch is pulling it. And then we should be there, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously, worst case scenario, even if the Unimog was to come in, we've still just got to hope that we've got enough traction on that ground there that we can pull that back and then get the Unimog back out after. Um, what we've done on some jobs, say for example, if we got stuck on that bit, I know customers don't want to, but if we got stuck on that, once your vehicle's out, you drive for them, we just winch back off your vehicle to pull us out. But that's a, a backup option. So all we've got to hope and pray 
that those four trees will be enough. Um, just missed a customer on the understanding. You're, so any of those four there, we'll try whatever the strongest one is. We'll probably try with the rear stump, but it might be a bit too low to the ground to grip. But yeah. A big, big monster, yeah. So as long as you're happy that we can try it. Um, yeah, fair enough. But yeah, as long as you're happy for us to try, but one of those four, whichever Kevin decides to use. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine right let me get the ball rolling with kevin as long as you're happy you know yourself as well all we can do is is get here and just start trying it yeah of course that's fine yeah no worries yeah cool right i'll go and give the all clear then we'll get this ball rolling <coughs> No, yeah, if you can. Kevin's going to come up now. He's going to ring me when he's going through the next village before. Then I'll go meet him at the end of the road. What I'm just going to do in the meantime is go to the bottom of this road and see if there's somewhere to turn around. Because if he comes in the heavy this way, he aren't going to get the turn. But I think if he turns around, we've got a much better chance of getting back in here. Um, so, pardon? Yeah, yeah, I'll move it now. Yeah, I'm going to go down there. Yes. Bigger than that? Yeah. Because I did. I came. I reversed this way. Yeah. Okay. Go, yeah, he's a little there. bit longer than that, to be fair. So that's why I was thinking, if he was to turn around, at least we've got a lot more playroom on this side to, yeah, to get him in. You can see where I came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I only just went on to there, look. Yeah, I think your steering's going to be a lot better than, than the heavy. Much better, yeah, you're much better. Those things turn great, to be honest. So. Right, that is the situation of the job. Just going to go down the road now, see if there's anywhere that Kevin can turn around in the HGV just for access of getting into the property. Uh, customer at the household is happy for us to use any of those four trees that you saw with me. So any of those four, he would be happy for us to winch off. If they fall out, come out, he's not bothered. So good news. Um, but like I say, those photos that we had of the customer first, you know they all look a little bit okay that you understand the situation but as soon as we got there there's that big metal post by the driver's door so if we were looking at trying to winch it a little bit sideways or full lock right hand down and pulling it it wouldn't happen and the customer does not want the apple tree down or whatever it's called and nor does he want his big metal pole lamppost thing coming out either so it's got to go backwards some of you might have saw another tip or trick but I can't see any other options to get that out without doing damage at the front of that vehicle with his uh, property. That's the situation guys, uh, I've got the all clear for Kevin to come out in the heavy now. I'm trying to find somewhere down these lanes if there's somewhere he could turn around. It ain't looking good. So yeah, and if we have the heavy coming down here and there's another car coming, well somebody's got to reverse for quite a bit of a duration. That's it for now. Hopefully you will enjoy this video. Can't really say anything more, but thanks for watching. Trough, trough. He's just coming through no so now on the little roundabout, so I'm just going to head up to the main road and then just guide him in. And we've got a little bit of light just to quickly play with. Shan't be long. Got Kevin here now, just going to have to reverse down the lane for about five minutes till we get to the address because he will not get the swing in um, by going in forwards. It, it just ain't going to happen. So, yeah. That's it, nearly ready, and it light is just starting to get that bit on the dark side. <sighs> All you need to do is call GDB. Just watch Kevin round the bend. 
nearly there now, just two sharp bends and we're there. Should be just okay height wise, I think. <clears throat> just go nice and steady, mate. Just nice and steady. Just got one branch here, just nice and steady. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you're all right, you're clear. <clears throat> Do you want to come and have a nosy, Kev? Come and have a nosy. Ooh. How are you doing? Hello. That's the hardest part I'd like to think anyway. <clears throat> there's just no way I think access you could reverse in if you came in forwards from here. But there's obviously a lot more manoeuvrability being here to reverse in. So that was me, me method. I thought you've got a lot more playroom on you that. You just get your lock and... Well, I can see this side. You can see that. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Aye, aye. Yeah. If the signal goes shit, mate, just hang fire until you can hear me. Uh -huh. Right. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. About three metres. Two metres. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Give it a nudge forward at that if you can, Kev. <coughs> you should see these gate posts in your mirror shortly. <coughs> yeah, keep coming, keep coming. She's there somewhere. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Nice and straight at that, and that should be in, mate. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. <coughs> Beautiful. Yes, Al, mate. <sighs> I've just moved my Nissan out of the way if you want to keep hold of that torch. Do you want to look at these trees at the back? Yeah, see, you see that one with the swing is, mate? All the, yeah, the edge, basically, mate. yeah. Obviously, there was that one there, but it ain't going to quite get the angle. That shit angle, that. Yeah. I think this is probably the best one. There is obviously splits in it, but hopefully we can use oh, that. Yeah, but yeah. again, worst case is still this one behind it anyway. Oh. It's amazing how quick the light goes, isn't it? I <laughs> know. Right oh, minutes, mate, minutes. Keep coming! Keep coming!
We'll take the plump pot off. Let's make sure that that's going on smooth. Kinks. Just gonna move these rocks off and out. That's loose. That'll be alright staying as one. Yep, still okay, mate. Still okay. <clears throat> Just want to check on this little brick wall, make sure you're happy. I've took the golf ball things off. As long as you're happy, it's low enough down and the snatch is clear enough. Uh, she's not sounding the best. Shall we just get him to reverse a bit anyway and just open prey? Just until the tree stump comes out if I stand back here. <clears throat> it ain't sounding good though. No! <clears throat> no! <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, that one's no good. We'll have to try the one behind, I think. The, be the roots don't even fucking go anywhere. They're right on the top, aren't they? Is he, did he move anywhere or not? No. no. That strap off. <laughs> Yeah, those roots don't even go down, they just go across. Uh, just put it as uh, low as you can. On yeah, yeah. Tree, no sweat. <laughs> ah, do you want me to lift it over these trees here? Lift it up over them. <laughs> you there? Oh, shit! No! No! Kev! Yeah. I'd like to think this will be our only saving grace. <sighs> Try and use this tree stump now and clear some room. Hold on. <clears throat> oh 
Hold up! That's it. Fuck for that. Woo! Thank God for that. Or knock both sides and see if he's got enough momentum to reverse on it, yeah? Oh, yeah. enough traction to oh, get himself yeah. back on his own momentum if it needs a tug we've still got a bit of life on that stump <laughs> keep coming keep coming come on come on do you want me to put a brick under kev chuck some of that old brick under yeah yeah Okay, and where on the A500 are you? Loads of room, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, about three metres. Yep, yep. That got enough clearance at the front now, hasn't it, for downhill? Right, I'll start on hooking, Kev. Oh, oh. So, eh? Hey? It was getting sketchy with them stumps when they all started failing. It was the last one that just hung on but change it from the strap to the chain just got that little bit of a bite that it needed <clears throat> can have a look up here if you want there for the winch line so yeah that was as good as got but obviously all part of the box to full sort of coming off this one and all so lucky just otherwise it might have ended up being getting something in that fucking field tomorrow to winch off that or get yeah. something some more that to, we just would have to come up here yeah but i say i don't understand apple trees you know they're a big thing especially for the old people aren't they you know what i mean but sometimes if needs have to be things have to be done they have to be done <clears throat> i'll have to do the dreaded part for you shortly and just work it out mate as well i'm afraid <clears throat> tomorrow's another day mate
Okay, mate. It was packable in one go, wasn't it? Uh, one go. Yeah, that's it. But you wouldn't have got it in the, from the other direction if you come yeah. forwards in. So, right. right, I'll go and get the payment now, mate. Right. Cheers, Kevin. Hello, YouTubers. So, yes, it is the day after the HGV winch out. So, I just thought I would do a little breakdown now of the job. As seen yesterday, that both of my batteries went because it was a long job worked out to be just over two odd hours from well no for me it's about two and a half to three hours roughly from being on scene to leaving the scene so yeah and a good hour and a half two hours of non-stop winching it was just a bit of a pig but there we go the job did get done in the end so obviously rolling back um we were obviously very restricted of where and what we could winch off as you know that vehicle it um well you won't know but that vehicle it was empty and it weighed about 13 and a bit ton so luckily it weren't fully laden which definitely helps especially when you're trying to go off certain trees um and obviously the customer said he knew which trees were strongest but uh yeah they weren't uh nowhere near as strong as what we thought they were as they soon came apart as you would see in the previous clips uh, but luckily it was the far 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 back tree stump that was hidden by all the wood and stuff that was the one that helped and gave us grace so thank god for that tree stump still being there because if not it's either going to be pulling out forwards with a with a apple tree down and his little concrete lamppost which he did not want coming down or it would end up being getting something in the field to anchor to and then winch off that and snatch block so that was going to be plan B and C but luckily we didn't need to it came out just just on time so very happy with that result thanks for watching if you do like what you see make sure to like and subscribe at GDB rescue and recovery and you're wondering why I'm out in the Jeep XJ if you could not tell well I've got my winch bumpers that are being custom made they're due to be here in the next 14 days and I've just had to go Halfords and buy a new battery for the Jeep XJ as the existing one does not hold charge very well at all. So that's now been replaced and we are working better than ever in charging, baby. Right, I will see you on the next one. That is GDB over and out. Yay!